Well, there's strength in numbers, and it's why over a thousand area doctors and it's really some other professionals mm -hmm. linked up to form MIPA. And when the health insurance landscape started to change, the group realized patients needed something different. That brought about a one-of-a-kind plan. And we've got Dr. Stephen Williams mm -hmm. and Dr. Janet Grange here to explain what it can mean for all you out there. Thanks right. for stopping in, Welcome Doctor. Welcome back. Yeah, good, good to see you. you. And we're familiar with MIPA. I mean, you've been on the show, and mm -hmm. it really provides a great alternative for people out there looking for affordable insurance. But can you explain what it is? Because it's Midwest Independent Physicians Practice Association. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, <laughs> it's, it's a, a group of physicians that has developed over the past six or seven years uh, from a small group of 10 of us that kind of started to now we have close to 1,000 practitioners, about 700 physicians, 300 PAs, nurse practitioners, uh, uh, throughout Western Iowa and throughout Nebraska all the way to North Platte. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you are, you're, you're here, you're in our neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. So when you, you set out to create a health plan, uh, why, why did you do it? We'll get to the, how it works and what's mm -hmm. unique about it, but what was the why initially, Dr. Well, Green? We could see that increasingly um, uh, there was the insurance part of health care and then there was the medical part of health care. And patients were kind of caught in the middle. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we felt that as physicians, we couldn't provide the best kind of care if we weren't allowing our patients to be matched with insurance that actually worked for them. Mm -hmm. So this to me is an extension of our practice in this modern day where um, this is how we fund health care. And so we feel like we're in a position to create a plan that actually works for how people experience disease and how we can then provide cost-effective yes. care. Yeah. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and decisions are being made right now about plans and mm -hmm. what individuals are going to select. And we'll get to all those details in a second, but I think we need to back up a little bit to talk about really the health insurance exchange or the marketplace mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. give us a little mm -hmm. foundation for what yes. this is. Can you, what is the marketplace? Uh, the marketplace is, is you can uh, it's similar to going to orbits and trying to find a flight <laughs> is that you can go on and and kind of choose the plan that you would like that maybe your physician is on mm -hmm. um, and there are various options as far as pricing as well uh, pre uh, premiums and such as well as copays and so one can scroll through and find the plan that seems mm -hmm. to suit you best. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's a great analogy, by the way. It is. And a lot of people can re relate to that. But a lot of people do feel overwhelmed. I still hear about it. I mean, in the beginning, there were those hiccups with the website, and I think some of that lingers. But even still today, people feel like, boy, I don't even know where to start. I mean, I go there, and I don't know if what I'm seeing is really what I need. So in terms of your plan, who do you think should sort of search and start there and see if it makes sense compared to what they already have or if they're first timers in the marketplace? Yeah, and I think that that's what we've tried to do because mm -hmm. we as physicians understand what are the important issues in selecting a plan. What is actually going to meet the needs of your family? And in the same way that Orbitz allows you a dizzying number mm -hmm. of choices, so does the healthcare market. And so we're trying to produce something that you know, this is produced by physicians. We've carefully thought about what's important to patient. They want choice of doctors. They want access to, ho to specialists. They want a choice of hospitals. And they want to know that their health care is going to be affordable. Mm -hmm. So we've taken all of those things, wrapped it into this plan. So from my standpoint, it's a great starting place for anyone who jumps on the site and says, okay, this is where I'm going to start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you get, how do you get the, the MIPA plan? I mean, do you just go to the marketplace? How, how do you search for it? I mean, yeah, you go what's to, the process? To, uh, go to healthcare.gov. They'll require you to put in some information, uh, an email address, and form an account. And then once you've entered that information, then you can get onto the site and click and choose and mm -hmm. look and see what plan might be best mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. As we talk about the differences between some of these other, the dizzying, I mean, I like the word because it's true. <laughs> all of these other plans and the MIPA health plan. Uh, I'd like to spend a second, if you would, Dr. Grange, on cost, because this to me is where people say, okay, it's what I'm paying for the plan, mm -hmm. but then it's what happens when, you know, I fall and get hurt on ice like mm -hmm. yesterday, or somebody mm -hmm. in the family gets sick, and then it's sort of like, 
navigating through all of that. How do you keep those patients in mind throughout mm -hmm. tests to me is one example yes. of making sure you're finding the best deal and right. not duplicating stuff that's not mm -hmm. necessary. The out-of-pocket situation. Yes, and I think that that's one of the things that we really heard our patients uh, be concerned about and so tried to wrap into our plan. The way we feel that we provide cost-effective care is not by limiting your care, but by actually matching you with, of all of the healthcare resources that we have in the uh, region, we as physicians understand the costs of various tests. For example, if you fall and, and you need a, a, an, an x-ray or a CAT scan, there is a wild difference in the price based on where you go. And the average person on the street doesn't have a way to sort that out, mm -hmm. but believe me, we do. Mm -hmm. And we understand that we are our patients' guardians, and that's including their financial guardians. So when we look at a patient's need, we're able to factor in what is the most cost-effective way that yeah. I can provide the best care for patients? Because that's something that is very difficult for patients to do on their own. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Williams explained how to get to the plan. You have until January 31st to get signed up. And a couple different places we want to direct you to, uh, Aetna.com and then healthcare.gov are the two locations. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, uh, you got to sign up here pretty quickly because time's running out. The end of the month is when um, the deadline is. It's a modern solution. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you. And joining Thank us you. today. It's nice to see you. Good to see you guys. Mm -hmm. Well, on the run, but still want to